Hello guys and welcome to another video of Carolina EDC Reviews. Today we're looking at, at a holster that just got from Optex Planet. No, they did not send this to the channel. I purchased this myself. And this is going to be the Blackhawk Omnivore. Uh, it's very interesting uh, for a holster that I can put on my uh, range bell, I guess you can call it. Uh, that I don't have to keep switching into uh, different holsters. So just I can keep this on my duty or gear rig whatever you want to call it my battle belt i guess what people call it. <laughs> a belt that i can use for every firearm and i was searching for several other ones but at the same time i wanted a holster that has some kind of retention as well so black hall has come out with this uh holster which is the omnivore again and this has been out for a while they're very affordable for what it is uh this one is going to be for the light bearing of the Streamlight TLR 1 or 2. Uh, I do have one TLR, but this is the 1S, which is pretty much the same thing and fits there. But the good thing about that is, is again, it has, it fits more than 200 guns, which is pretty cool. Uh, and it's injector motor polymer. And this is the hip carry. So it's going to be, uh, you know, outside the waistband. And it fits the Streamlight TLR 1 and 2. And let's see what else do we have here on the back. <clears throat> if we can see, we have multi fit on the board holster fits more than 200 style semi automatic handguns with accessory rails. Um, it has the active retention mechanism, ergonomic thumb activated uh, retention mechanism, which is delivered instant firearm access. And this is going to be a level two retention, uh, uses two features to hold the handgun securely in place. Uh, it's got a free floating design holster locks onto the light housing not the firearm uh, doesn't wear your firearm frame and finish and it's got three position adjustable release uh, customized retention mechanism high for your thumb reach so it's got a lot of features and again as you can see here's the what it fits and it's going to fit several firearms again up to 200 firearms but it's pretty cool so let's uh let's open it up and see and see what all comes with it big package here all right so we got the holster we got the paddle here where you can get different adjustments you can count in many different ways which is pretty cool uh, i really don't like this so i'm not going to be using this uh so i'm gonna put on my uh battle belt i guess you want to call it but i will be using this one here which it goes in your belt it's got the loops here run your belt through of course just like any other holster they got this type of um, uh, holster belt loop here and you can adjust it to whatever length i'm pretty sure it comes with a uh, adjustable here so it won't move around and everything all right see what else we got in the package here got a lot of cool stuff we got some extra screws here we have something here something to put in a holster i'm assuming uh, we got different size buttons here, which is interchangeable right here, as you can see. Um, you know, depending on what kind of grip you have, if you have short fingers or uh, whatever you like, a bigger uh, size uh, thumb release, which is pretty cool. I don't know, I might switch it to the medium one, we'll see. So we have that. We have some, not really sure what this is, but then this is for like um, Molly or vest. You can attach it to your Molly or vest, I'm assuming, or it could be the adjustments for the belt. And we have some more stuff here, which I'm not really sure what it is yet, but we'll look at the instructions here in a second, see what we got. Of course, you got instructions, um, and you have a list here of all the firearms that this holster will fit. So if you'd like to pause and read this, pause it now. And there you go. All right. And you got a sticker right here and the little piece that I just had a while ago that I didn't know where it was. This right here is a spacer that goes right here into your holster and it snaps in right there. So you have more or less of a wall on your holster. Now I have a couple of different firearms, mostly Glocks, again, Polymer 80 as well. And again, this is going to be retained to the light. So let's move this part out the way 
And let's load the instructions and see what all these pieces mean right quick. All right, so you got right here, level two, Opni, or you can get one without the light bearing. And then here's the one that I have. Again, here's your adjustable thumb pad. Um, let's see, you, got, you can get it for the Streamline or the Surefire X300 if you care that one. And here's all the parts right here. So that's the Otnable Belt Loop Platform. So I'm assuming these will go in here. Not sure. And then you got the Otnable Paddle Platform here. I guess goes on the paddle here. So that's what goes on the back of this right here to give you the right width or whatever belt you put it on so it won't wobble. Is how you remove your thumb pad and then you got the honorable rail attachment kit so this is going to be the one without the light bearing so this is what's going to lock into your firearm um if you don't have one with the light so here it is instructions so it attaches to your rail and that's what makes it uh very easy to use uh different type of firearms here's the tiller thumb uh orientation for the smooth auto lock function Here's another picture, and let's see. Here's the no pad, medium pad, and tall pad. So I'm gonna play around with that thumb pad just to see which one works for me. Oh, here's the instruction how to put those uh, belt loops. So it just pretty much wraps around and snaps in. Again, it all depends what size belt you got. This is one with the paddle. Have to adjust it and that's pretty much it uh pretty simple a lot of pins how you're going to use them what you're going to attach it to so we're going to put this away and we're going to just play around with this uh put this parts away so i'm going to lose it and put the paddle in this way as well for now so here it is here's the holster very big holster that's for sure <laughs> So that's the reason why it accommodates over 200 firearms. So you got an open bottom here if you have a, you know, um, a thread barrel or something here to accommodate the light. And also you got an RMR cut, which is pretty, pretty neat. So high suppressors, it always covers that too. And that's pretty much it. You got the thumb release here. This is right-handed, so I'm right-handed. Uh, do not use without light. So... There it is. This one, you have to have that light to be able to, you know, uh, have it secure and retain in the holster. So, again, you can get the one with the, uh, what the lights could be a lot slimmer than this, of course. But, all right. So, let's uh, just holster this one. Again, this is my Polymer 80 here. I see it's got a compositor and it's got the TLR1 streamline here. Let's see how it does. All right. It's got a little bit of wobble there back and forth and this is probably where this comes into play so keep it from wobbling but good retention you got thumb dry here pull it out i already can tell i'm gonna need a little bit i got short fingers so i'm gonna need a little bit more height uh to be able to push that button more much better so especially when you have uh you know longer firearms or whatever but other than that I mean, locks in and all that. So let me uh, take this off and put it on my Glock 19 Gen 4 again. So we can see what's the difference, any difference? Nope. Now it doesn't have a lot of play on this one here. Again, that's the other one had a lot more wobble. So you just have to play around depending on what firearms you're gonna use. Again, you got enough room here to clear your uh, RMR and you got suppressor high. I mean, you got plenty of room right there as you can see on top. But what it does, again, it lacks, it locks on the light. So that's pretty cool. And you still have, as you can see, plenty of room there uh if i'm not mistaken i might have got the 
17 model, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. But I think, I don't think there is a different model, I guess, because this fits anything. But, but there you go. Again. So, that fits right there. All right, let's try this. Um, Palmer 80 with the 17 slide. Attach it on this one here. And see how it does. Um, being it's got a longer slide, even though my other one there's got the. Uh... <laughs> All right, so, yeah, that works. So, that's pretty cool. Again, that's definitely what I wanted right there. Be able to use any firearms but again you have to have the tlr one or two to be able to lock in it does have a little wobble but that's what it is let's uh put this piece in there apparently it goes something like this and it locks in let's see if i can do it right here All right quick maybe so let me pause this and i'll be right back all right guys i'm back it was pretty simple to install just it's got the little grooves i don't know if you can see it um right down there and it's got a little snap hook right here it goes in this hole and locks in and definitely i can see the improvement definitely a tight fit it doesn't wobble now you know so that's definitely much better there definitely positive lock doesn't wobble and move so that's pretty cool let's put it on the the one with the um compensator here just to make sure it um doesn't interfere which i probably won't because it's on top so just to be on the safe side all right here we go all right that locks in definitely works great Again, I'm gonna switch this the size of that thumb brake because I need it just a little bit higher. So I'm gonna put that medium one on. So that's pretty cool. Again, uh, pretty nice holster. So I'm gonna attach it to my belt, come right back, show how it looks, and then we'll go outside and test it out and see how well it does. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I got everything installed the way I like it. I did have to remove this little um, spacer or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, it was catching for some reason, it was just not drawing. Uh, it was getting stuck, so I removed it, so now it's much better. So this is it right here. This is my battle belt. I've done a review on this a while back, but this is it. I added the medium size uh, thumb release here. Pretty simple. Just slide over this one. This already come with it. Two little screws, and that's about it. Um, I put the, uh, the adjusters here that you can uh, snap right in, and that will keep it from wobbling or anything like that. So that's pretty much it guys just want to show how it looks in the belt now we're going to step outside uh do some drawing from it see make sure a releases correctly and everything else and then i'll give you my opinion what i think about it so stay tuned all right guys so i'm out here with the uh holster from black hall again this is going to fit several firearms as long as you have the one with the tlr1 or 1s that's what is the holster is, is compatible to and it's gonna to lock to the light, not the firearm itself. So, so any firearms that you may have with a Picatinny rail in the front and you can install this light. Again, it's gonna work with this holster here. This is a level two. And again, it's gonna work with any firearm that's able to have a light mounted too. So, um, I'm still getting used to it. I like the button release again, as you can see up close, you can change that up. I added the one spacer to make it a little bit more taller to my liking and be able to reach that thumb release on the inside to release the firearm. Now, again, I did remove that one piece that slit here just to make it a little bit more tight uh, so your firearm doesn't wobble back and forth. But so far, it's, for my liking, it's gonna work. And again, it's gonna be compatible with the, you know, RMR, high suppressors, and you also, if you have a uh, thread a barrel or compensator it's gonna stick to the bottom so that's another thing plus and about this holster so you, you got many options for firearms to use this and that's what i like about this so i'm gonna stick it and leave it on my 
battle belt, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so in case I have several firearms, I don't have to switch holster. I can use any holster as long as I have the TLR hooked up to it. All right, enough talking. Again, we're going to just do some uh, drills here, as you can call it, and just draw from it and make sure it comes out correctly every time in holsters. Again, it's going to lock. It's not going anywhere. As long as you push that button, it's going to release the firearm from the light and everything. So, all right, let's make ready. Put two rounds here. Again, all right, here we go. Do it again. All right. Okay. I have a little issue with my gun. I might need to clean it. <laughs> All right, here we go. time again I need to clean this gun I haven't cleaned it since I've been shooting it so here we go all right one more time Just draw and fire. All right, I'm out. All right, guys. Well, pretty simple. I do need to clean my firearm. Wasn't want to go to battery for some reason, but anyways, <laughs> uh, as you can see, the holster worked just as fine like it's supposed to. Again, with practice, that's how uh, you can uh, manipulate the holster and the release button pretty easily. As long as you practice holstering, doing at home, drop fire, you know, all that good stuff. Make sure your firearm is clear. See, it doesn't come out unless I push that button. So that's pretty much got. Again, sorry to make this video a little short here uh, due to ammunition again. And I hate, keep saying that, um, you know, it's going to be hard to make longer videos and put stuff uh, to the test even longer. So guys, that's pretty much it. Check out Black Hall. They're not sponsoring this. I uh, bought this small money from uh, Optics Planet. Make sure to check those guys out. I'm not also any kind of affiliated with them as well. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Very inexpensive, it's about 40, 50 bucks for the holster and it fits multiple, multiple firearms. Uh, and it'll be something that you maybe can take advantage and save some money in the long run if you do a lot of uh you know shooting and stuff and if also if you have the tlr light again you know you can put any firearm in here again over 100 or maybe 100 firearms will fit in this and again as you can see it's got the opening on the bottom and you got the rmr cut here to clear the rmr if you have one i feel like i'm talking real loud with this ear zone <laughs> But anyways, very inexpensive. Uh, they do have the version without the light. It's so, so if you don't wanna uh, buy the light or don't have the light, you can buy just the one with the uh, without the light. And that's the same functionality. It uses a little small Picatinny rail that locks in and you can swap it out uh, on the bottom of the firearm where the Picatinny tail rail is. As long as you got Picatinny rail on your firearm, it's gonna work with this. So make sure to check that out. So guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I think it'll be a good product to have in my opinion if you do a lot of, if you do if you do have a lot of firearms and don't want to spend money on a lot of holsters that you can use and also has a retention and draw your weapon and carry it safely uh, it'd be a good option to have so guys thank you for watching thank you for all the new subscribers make sure to comment down below if you have this holster or you have an experience with it and what you think about it I'll try to answer best I can. Uh, make sure to check out Optus Planet. They have these. Last time I seen, they have it on stock. So if not, check around everywhere else. So guys, thank you for watching. Make this video a big thumbs up. 
check out the links down below that's the best way to help the channel monetizing due to youtube the pretty much demonetize all my videos and i do not do patreon so the best way to do it is to use the affiliated links coupon codes and stuff like that follow me on social media and i think i'm done now so <laughs> guys thank you for watching and then i'll see you in the next one goodbye